step into reading three. Nor machine jumping beam. Nor machine liked to jump. In the morning, she jumped out of bed. She jumped into her clothes. She jumped down the stairs. Norma Jean jumped all the way to school. She jumped past Amy, Sam, Nell, and Ted. Wow! Said Ted. Look at her go! That Norma Jean never stops jumping. Hello! 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 She called to her friends. That morning. Miss Jones read a book to the class. It was a very good book, but Norma Jean did not sit still long enough to hear the story. At playtime, Norma Jean and Nell built a tower of blocks. Norma Jean was so excited she jumped up and down. Oh no! No more tower. At lunch, Sam gave Norma Jean a cupcake. Norma Jean was so happy, she jumped up and down. Oh no! Her milk spilled all over Sam. Norma Jean, please sit still," said Miss Jones. "This is not the time or place for jumping." After school. Norma Jean went to visit Dad. Hello, hello, hello! She shouted to Dad. Will you play with me? Okay, said Dad. Let's get on my seesaw. But Norma Jean bounced too hard. Dad almost flew off the seesaw. I don't want to play any more, Dad said. I wonder why Ted is mad at me," said Norma Jean. Then she jumped over to Amy's house. Amy was playing in her pool. "Hello, hello, hello," said Norma Jean. "May I play too?" Amy said. "Sure, jump in." That was the wrong thing to say to Norma Jean. Splash! Amy got out of the pool. Why did you get out? Asked Norma Jean. We are having so much fun, Amy said. You are having fun. I am going inside. It is no fun playing with a jumping bean. Now Norma Jean knew why her friends were mad at her. The next day, Norma Jean walked to school very slowly. There was a big puddle. All the other kids jumped over it, but Norma Jean did not jump. Norma Jean said, "I don't want to be a jumping bean. No more jumping for Norma Jean." So she walked through the puddle. And got her feet all wet. In the schoolyard, kids were running around and playing catch and jumping rope. There's Norma Jean," said Amy. "Come jump with us," but Norma Jean said no. Norma Jean said, "I don't want to be a jumping bean." No more jumping for Norma Jean, and she just stood there and watched the other kids jump rope. At the end of the day, Miss Jones told the class that field day was coming soon. There were going to be lots of races. Ted wanted to be in the egg and spoon race. Amy and Sam said they would be in the wheelbarrow race. 
Nell asked if she could be in the rope climbing contest. Now, who will be in the jumping contest? asked Miss Jones. Everybody shouted, Norma Jean, Norma Jean, she is the best jumper in school. But Norma Jean said, I don't want to be a jumping bean. No more jumping for Norma Jean, Dad said. I miss the old Norma Jean. She was fun, even if she did jump a lot. On field day, Dad won the egg and spoon race. Norma Jean was very happy. She yelled, Hooray! Hooray! Emmy and Sam came in first in the wheelbarrow race. Norma Jean yelled, Hooray! 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 And she jumped up and down just a little bit. Nell won the rope climbing contest. Norma Jean was so excited, she jumped out on the field. Norma Jean was just in time for the hurdles. The high jump and the potato sack race. She won them all. Hooray! 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 shouted the kids in Miss Jones' class. Norma Jean was very happy. But she did not jump up and down. She stood very still. Miss Jones pinned a blue ribbon on Norma Jean. It said, Norma Jean, champion jumping bean. What did Norma Jean do then? Norma Jean jumped for joy. She jumped and she jumped and she jumped all the way home. After all, there is a time and a place for jumping.